Okay. Tabling of documents. The, the Minister of uh, Minister of Agriculture, Aquaculture, and Fisheries. I have a hard time saying that three times faster. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I rise today to highlight the recent meetings of the Canadian Council of Fisheries and Aquaculture Ministers in St. John's, Newfoundland, and Labrador. Unfortunately, I was unable to attend the meetings in person, but New Brunswick was well represented with officials from the Department of Agriculture, Aquaculture, and Fisheries. Aquaculture was a key topic of discussion. Ministers agreed to develop federal aquaculture legislation with limited scope. That respects federal, provincial, and territorial jurisdiction, and that provides a clear legislative framework for the sector. A strong federal and provincial legislative framework would ensure that our aquaculture industry remains a global leader in producing high quality products in an environmentally sustainable manner. As the lead regulator for New Brunswick, it is also helpful as we engage in modernizing our own aquaculture act. Work in these areas helps one of our government commitments ensuring a predictable investment climate for sector participants. There is also a commitment to promote harmonization of regulations specifically across Atlantic Canada. This corresponds with our government's pledge to reduce or eliminate regulations and red tape that are barriers to success for businesses in this province. It is encouraging that the Council will be seeking to take full advantage on the promotion of Canadian seafood products in markets that have opened up through new trade agreements. Our government recognizes that valuable contribution of aquaculture through the provision of good quality jobs in rural, coastal and First Nation communities and innovation in food production. We look forward to engaging with industry, stakeholders, and First Nation communities in New Brunswick on ways to advance the growth of our aquaculture sector. I salute the ministers and the officials for their work in St. John's and look forward to attending the following meetings next June in Saskatchewan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.